Oops. Found it. I mean, at least you're dead. Um, yeah, I guess that works. One thing I should add before talking about the multiplayer is that you'll be seeing weapons with different skins, and I'm guessing most of you grew up around the Xbox release of Halo. So to explain why we are playing on PC exclusive maps and weapons, plus weapons with different skins, is because if you remember what I said in the beginning, I'm playing the Halo 1 multiplayer on the Master Chief Collection, and on this collection it combines both the Xbox and PC versions of Halo 1. Another thing that helped launch the success of Halo was its glorious multiplayer, with each map having its own identity and playstyle tactics. You had a variety of game modes to play, the most popular one being Slayer, a simple game with a simple objective, score 20 points to win the game. Through kills obviously, how else are you going to score the points you dumbo? There are also other game modes as well, like Capture the Flag, Oddball, King of the Hill, and Race. But I'm only going to do Slayer because otherwise we would be here for too long, and this video is already long enough as it is. So, I got together with a friend and played all of the 19 maps with him. Obviously, I should say I grew up with the Xbox version, so we only had 8 maps, and I never really played the PC version, so I can't really say how many maps were released for the PC version. So, like in the campaign, I'm going to be ranking the maps a 5 out of 5 because I don't think there's much to talk about with the multiplayer maps. So I'll just give my thoughts about it, as well as just show some funny moments I had with my friend when we were playing the map. Also, I've set up our matches to start with random weapons, so then it goes a little bit faster when we are playing the matches. But, without further ado, let's look at our first map, Battle Creek. That <laughs> <laughs> game walk for five seconds, for God's sake! <laughs> so this map is quite small. It's a basic map that takes place in a creek. That's why it's called Battle Creek. Oh wow. What are you doing? <gasps> Jesus, what the heck was that? <laughs> 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 what the fuck, rude? <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? Where are you? Where are you? Meet your goddamn no! Stop it! <laughs> oh. Oh, <yeah. laughs> Underneath the bases is an underground section, so you have a place to cover from any harm that comes. And on the sides of the map is a little sniping spot. Furthermore, on the back of the bases is a teleporter that teleports you to either side of the map. Now, I would say this map is great if there was only one thing I didn't like about it. The rocket launcher. I'm checked out and ready to- Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Does it feel good now, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. My Spartan gave like the weakest death cry ever. He just... Uh. Does he can't be bothered anymore. It's just like, all right, I might as well accept my fate. <laughs> I'm awful! Ah! Oh, <laughs> that game walked for five seconds, for God's sake! <laughs> hey, guess what? Oh, no. Thank God. I bet you are thinking that. Yep. <laughs> I'll definitely say in like, oh. the reviews saying, Saying it's not great when you're facing it, but when you do have it, it's great. <laughs> I think. You're not gonna stop me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Why are you ah, oh, so oh, God. Oh, God. It just. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. I mean, I can't even. I see what you mean now. I can't even get to where I want to go on the map. <laughs> Look, I don't hate the weapon. It's a great weapon. Oh, wait, hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, that was right on you! Jesus, that must have happened! What I have an issue is, is that there is no counter to it. The way I look at Halo maps is that if one player gets a really powerful weapon, then there should always be a weapon to counter it, or the map should be designed in a way to counter that weapon. Issue is, with Battle Creek, it doesn't really feel like there is any. The closest I can probably think of is the sniper rifle or a shot by the pistol, but because you're in a small area, you'll probably be easily blew up anyway. Or the shotgun, but you need to get close to do that, and you can guess what happens next. 
pretty much, if you get the rocket launcher, you've got a certified kill streak. With all that said, this map is a 4 out of 5 for me. Also, before we get onto the next map, uh, the multiplayer respawning in Halo 1 is just great. Sometimes it just spawns you right next to the enemy. Isn't that fun? So, uh, I give that map about, like, maybe a, a 7 out of 10. <laughs> great when you're, when you've got the rocket, but terrible if, like, you're on the opposite side. I swear the rocket launcher on Halo 1 is almost the equivalent of the Prophet's Bane on Halo 5 now looking at it. Pretty much. <laughs> Upgrading in size, Sidewinder takes place in a snowy themed arena with the addition of vehicles. Face it, you coward! I will on the op at the opportune moment. That's a, that, that sounds like an excuse to me. Oh, what the, the fuck? Jesus it. Christ, that's <laughs> the shit out of me! You can also get some high towers for some sniper positions. I mean, if the sniper rifle and ammo for it wasn't an indication enough. Also, this is a perfect time to introduce the gravity on Halo 1. Needle spike! Oh, oh, come on! You can survive that <laughs> one of a step, Master Chief! Now, I don't really have a lot of clips to tell you about it, but I will say that your Spartan is dense as fuck. One tiny tap of a vehicle, or a slide longer fall, and you're dead. God damn you, Bungie! <laughs> you may have made the greatest game in 2001, but god damn, you really need to put some... <laughs> like, I'm just glad they improved on the goddamn physics on this bloody game. Back to the map design, you also get these teleporters that teleport you to the sides of the map. I'm glad that this map is flexible if you want to traverse the area either by vehicle or by teleportation. Now, you may think to yourself, well I could just hop into a tank and just blast my way through. Yes, but actually no. What? Come on, are you serious? How does that count? <laughs> oh. Yeah, of course, apparently that instantly kills you in the tank. But the, the bloody logic in Halo 1 is sometimes so goddamn stupid. I'll say, yeah, definitely. I'll say, uh, what was it? The ones where you get in just slightly tapped by a vehicle and you're dead. <laughs> yep, that's a thing. That's a thing. See, the issue with the tank is that the capsule that you enter in is not covered. Can you see where this is going? Yep, you would leave yourself to be killed by explosives or to be shot in the head. While this is a pain, and trust me it is, it does offer a good balance. Think about it. If there was a fully covered up tank and you were just being constantly being blown up on the map, it really wouldn't be any fun, would it? So it is good that you do have ways to win a match against a tank without needing to use another tank to fight it. Um, that should be interesting if they brought skulls to Halo 1. Multiplayer, I mean. Like, what do you mean by that? Uh, you know the skulls on the campaign where you can modify how things uh, work? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, oh, that was a clean shot. Ooh. In conclusion, this map is definitely a 5 out of 5 for me. It's got that good balance of vehicles and weapons, as well as offering good ways to getting around the map. Oh! Oh! That was lucky! <laughs> I just shot that at random! Ah! <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Next up is Damnation, a map that takes place in a covenant building. To be honest, I'm not sure. I mean, it's got like the colors and the design of a covenant building, but other than that, I'm not sure. Oh, god damn it, how could that didn't hit your head? <laughs> this map has three different levels to it, and they're all interconnected with each other. The main thing is, is that there are two power-ups on the map. The bottom being the overshield, whilst the top is the camouflage. I do think that it's a bit coincidental that the person will get the camo and try to shoot people from above, whilst the people below will get the overshield, just so they have a chance to get to cover. Just make sure you watch your step. No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> also, this map is perfect for sniping. It's got a lot of good spots to snipe people. I like how we're using very expensive PCs to play a 2001 game. <laughs> yeah, but <I'm> peak. <laughs> and that's it, really. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to go on about this map, and some of them will be like that.
Now, despite me having a miserable time on this map, let's be fair, I did do this to myself. I did set the starting weapons to random, so it's just bad luck that my friend constantly got the rocket whilst I was stuck with a plasma pistol. This map is a 4 out of 5. <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ, that was close! Oh, hang on a minute. You thought you could fool me, Potter? Coming up next is Rat Race, a level that takes place underground with loads of interconnecting tunnels. Oh, oh, no, 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 I don't think you have much luck with first kick. Oh, God. There's also this part of the map that allows you to get either the overshield or the camouflage. Really, that's what most of your time is probably doing. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> oh, that's that is Jesus. Oh, shut up, computer. Oh my God. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Um, it's got teleporters, and I won this time. No, no, no. Yes! Oh, God, yes! I bet you're oh, happy. I am. I really am. Oh, thank God, finally, after like an, an hour's worth of a recording, I finally won. Something tells me it wouldn't have been so fun for you to upload Halo footage where you lost every single one. Oh, my Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, other than that, this map is alright. 3 out of 5. Uh, Tom, I'm back now. Hello. Killing spree. Ah. Oh, you <laughs> oh, Up next is a map that is actually quite good. Prisoner. A map that consists of three levels on each side of the map that also connect to each other, with an empty middle section. Except in the middle, there is a rocket launcher, plus a camouflage up for grabs. So you know what that means. So... Oh god, where have you gone? <laughs> I sort of hoping you see the rocket and take the bait, but that works. This map can be pretty chaotic, and I think that's the best part of it. The short space, the high levels, and the race to grab one of the best weapons, it fills you up with adrenaline. However, my point on Battle Creek is the same. The rocket launcher is a certified kill streak given. Great if you have it, terrible if you're dealing with it. But I don't think it's that bad compared to Battle Creek take a shot every time I said Battle Creek. On Prisoner, I felt like I had more options for cover and for counters compared to Battle Creek. Oh. Oh, you had a rocket as well, did you? Thanks for the ammo. I'll give you some more rockets in your face. Thanks, I'll be return the favour. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean by respawn, though? It's fantastic. No, 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 no. Oh, that works. Other than that, this map is fun. And one that is great if you want to jump into some chaotic madness. A 4 out of 5. Also, I managed to come right back around and win the match. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that was tight. Very, very tight. That was interesting, that was. Oh. So it started off as you like 12 kills ahead and then I caught up and then you won. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Oh. 
get over the I think the tables and I was starting to it. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the list is a unique map, Hangam High. It's a vast empty map with these little short pillars around the map that provide plenty of cover. There's also these branching pathways to go across from one side of the map to another. This map is perfect for sniping for obvious reasons. What? I really can't believe that though, by all the Halo games on PC, yet they haven't brought this Halo fight to PC. Such a loss. I know, right? <laughs> Headed by one of the greatest games of all time. No. Where? What? Oh, hi. <laughs> You could tell that this map was purposely built for capture the flag gang types. Other than that, I'm saying that a lot, there isn't anything else I could provide to this map except for the bountiful placements of shotguns, snipers and rocket launchers across the map. At least you have plenty of options to deal with your enemies on the map. A 4 out of 5. Oh no 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 the hell? Yeah. Oh, oh come on! Are you kidding me? Well, that that one went a bit better than I thought. <laughs> I hope you like claustrophobia because chill out is the place for you. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this map. Good luck trying to stay alive for even for like 10 seconds because you'll probably die even before you take your first step. Mixed with Halo 1's bizarre respawn logic, yeah, you're not in for a great time. Yeah. For fuck's sake! <laughs> come on! <laughs> That was a very good start. There's not really much to say about it because it's just not really that good of a map really in my honest opinion. A 2 out of 5. No! <laughs> <laughs> my sticky grenade in myself, that was... <laughs> well done. Victorious. Now this map, Derelict, is a bit better than Chill Out. Again, this is a short map, but a good kind of short map. There is plenty of space to move around in, plus the design of the map is a lot easier to navigate compared to chill out. Oh, I nearly killed you! <laughs> wow, that's just very rude. Yes, yes. How could you do that? That sounds like you got the rocket now you said that. No. I have to be small with like the goddamn shittiest gun in the game. You also have a top section of the map that can be reached by teleporters, and in the middle is an overshield. You also get some powerful weapons on the sides of the map in these short tunnels. If anything, this map kinda looks like a Tatatoil Arena, but in space. This map feels like a training area where you can test your different playstyles, close or far combat due to the shotgun and sniper rifle placements. Plus, with random weapons, it gets really chaotic, so it's an automatic plus for me. This map is a 4 out of 5. That is correct. Oh. You don't really want to give me a break, do you? <laughs> nah, not really. Look okay. at the score! Oh. Hi, how's it going? Oh, Would you look at that? Two bodies! <laughs> this map, Boarding Action, is probably the most interesting to me. It's ship-to-ship -ship combat, except it's in space, and you can't really move the ship. Essentially, you have two platforms separated from each other, and the two platforms have equally the same designs on all five levels. You can get to each side using the teleporters located at the top and bottom levels. And... that's it, really. Again, there's not much I can add. Really, if anything, this map is kind of... kind of boring. I suppose it would be better if we had more players involved, but because there's only me and my friend, nothing much really happens. And the only other thing I can think about for this map is that this map is a good place to test your sniping skills. You should try playing this on a 16 player. You don't really get a chance to take cover. <laughs> no, I imagine not. <laughs> Spree. <laughs> yeah, this level is a 3 out of 5. Again, the map design is interesting to me, but I don't think it's used to its full potential. But before we get into the next map, guess how we feel about this map? Oh no, not this one. <laughs> yep. Oh god. Yep. 
it's going to get ugly. Right, Chiron, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is a good example of how to not create a good multiplayer map. It's like the designer for Chill Out came into the office one day and said, Hey guys, I know my last map was quite claustrophobic, so for my next map, how about we just crank that shit up to like maximum and just put like a shitload of teleporters in there as well? And that's what you get with Chiron. Claustrophobic corridors and short-ass rooms mixed in with loads of unnecessary teleporters. I mean, even looking at the map preview for the map, it's just... What the, what the fuck is this map design? It does not matter how many times I play this map, I can never remember the pattern. It took me and my friend 20 minutes to finish our game on this short map. I wasn't even mad or upset that I lost, just relief that I no longer had to play this piece of shit map. Yeah, if you couldn't guess it, it's a 0 out of 5. Congratulations, Chiron. You're only remembered for being the worst map on Halo 1. Luckily, though, we get treated to probably the most iconic Halo multiplayer map ever. Blood Gulch. So, what makes Blood Gulch so iconic? To the point where it was remade on Halo 2, served as a major inspiration for the map Valhalla in Halo 3, as well as Ragnarok in Halo 4 as well as just being called one of the best multiplayer maps to grace any first-person shooter on the official Xbox magazine. There oh we go. Goodness. Oh, hello. Oh! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the goddamn warthog was in my way! Aside from nostalgia's significance, this map is so beautifully designed that it's hard to ignore. It's simple, but you also have these nice design choices to stop it being so boringly simple. You have your two bases on each side of the map, colour coded as red and blue, with a big open area between them, and in those open fields are these lumps that you can use to your advantage, to take cover from fire or use as an aerial advantage to shoot down players. On the sides there is also some caves and caverns you can use as well to get around the map. There is also placement of different vehicles, ranging from ghosts, warthogs, tanks and banshees. Plus, the design of the map also allows for some good sniping matches as well, as each base has a sniper rifle at the top of the building, and the sides of the maps also have ledges for players to take good shots. It also feels like this map was perfectly designed for any game mode, Slayer, Capture the Flag, King of the Hill, etc. It definitely feels like a lot of effort was put into this map, and it really has paid off well, it's honestly one of the best multiplayer maps I've ever played. In fact, this map is so iconic that in Halo games that don't have it, people take to remake that level in Forge mode, specifically for Halo Reach and onwards. So yeah, there's not much to say other than that this level has a legendary status in the world of multiplayer first-person shooter games. A definite 5 out of 5. And plus, let's not forget that this map also has cultural significance as well. Since the early internet days, Red vs Blue did their internet series on this exact map, so it holds a very important cultural significance for the fans. I've personally never watched the show, but I can understand the importance of this map to those fans. No, 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 don't you dare, you can't shoot me. Oh, but the, the fucking warthog was in the way again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That warthog is saved my life. <laughs> Wizard is pretty much similar to Derelict, a gladiatorial arena, but on Halo this time, with a centre in the middle. But the design of the map is different. Around the map there are these little platforms that you can get up on, and on the four corners of the map are power-ups and weapons. Other than that, I can't really say much about Wizard. It's pretty much similar to Derelict, but I prefer the design of Derelict. So it's a 3 out of 5 for me. It doesn't really leave that much of an impact for me. God damn me! Come on! Come on! Are you up next is Longest. Well, if it means Longest in Suffering, then oh boy, I'm in luck. Because this level is pretty much Long Corridors. Oh, did I also mention that there is also a second level in this map? So, if you want to rain hell on your enemies, or be ruthlessly gone down, then this map is for you. <laughs> oh, fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I bet you're just waiting to respawn the rocket now. It would be useful. Again, but how the fuck it <laughs> Yeah, that's my biggest issue with this map. The fact that there is a second level just makes it annoying, because as I've said before, you'll probably be gunned down or blown up easily before even taking your first steps. 
Plus, you can also get a camouflage and an overshield power-up, which only makes your suffering or experience better. Can you not kill me? The power of overshield. Luckily though, you do get some weapons on the map to counter this, such as the flamethrower, or the sniper rifle, or just the good old-fashioned pistol. Well, if you don't die first. I'll give this map a 2 out of 5. I prefer multiplayer maps that are more open instead of tight corridors, but at least you do get some good counter weapons to use if anyone's on the second level, but at this point you'll probably be dead anyway. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Uh -huh. You're just a fucker! No! No, no, no! no, no, no. <laughs> oh, come on! I hate it when you do that! Well, I need stealth to get that off and off there. Well, I just pretty much uh, kept going for that overshield and used it to the advantage, really. But. Fair enough. Death Island is a big ass island, filled with probably the most amount of vehicles. It's a solid map. In fact, sometimes I'm convinced that this map is pretty much similar to the level in the campaign mission, The Silent Cartographer, one of my favourite levels. I do think that there is a slight issue with the map, is that it is so damn big. I think this map is designed to have multiple people play it, so if you have a small amount of people play it, well, the match can be a bit slow sometimes. No. Oh. Well, that was a bad time. What the? What the? No, no. Oh, 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 oh god, oh, shit. Oh, god. Right. Ah. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Oh. <laughs> that worked <laughs> better than I thought. <laughs> But other than that, I don't really have any problems with the map. It's a solid map filled with different vehicles, each to counter others. Plus it's fun to blow people up in a tank. 4 out of 5. Where have you gone? Oh, oh you little... Oh. Ah, okay, oh my, oh my, get the Z, how that's clever. Oh, come on, I can't even shoot through the tree. Right, okay, now my cover's the next place, but you gotta admit, that was quite <laughs> Oh, come on! <laughs> yes, it was quite clever. <laughs> Up next is Danger Canyon, a really fun map that has a mix of vehicles and environment designs. I would say it somewhat follows the same idea of Blood Gulch. You have a red and blue basis with vehicles and the environment is at a curved design with some slopes and rocks to take cover from fire or to gain an advantage. However, both bases are next to an interconnecting cave, so that way you have two choices. You could drive to the other side or go by through a cave. So even though you do have a good level design, there is however one issue. And that issue is, is that there is an area of the map where you can exploit it for easy kills. When you go through the cave, you can exit through the middle to come across this bridge and on the other side of the bridge is an overhead with a sniper. And bear in mind, you can get a nice clear vision of the entrances on the other side as well as the level below. Also, I like to add that this bridge is one way and that teleporter is also one way as well. So you can guess what kind of exploit that you can do. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a very, uh... What people used to do a lot is just go and ram the vehicles in the tunnels. <laughs> to stop the like, stop not... enemy from getting around and stuff. Yeah, it's quite handy and uh, it's sort of funny in one way because you could uh, just get to drive through the tunnels and you get angry messages saying, can you please stop ramming the, <laughs> <in> the tunnels? <laughs> Excuse you, sir, that's how you move. Killing spree. You know what? I maybe should bring a sniper. I'm gonna bring a sniper to that fight now. Woof! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but my heart's jump out of my mouth. Oh, for God's what? sake! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! No! Oh! Ah! 
few. That was a close one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. If you manage to get the spot, then you've earned yourself an easy win. Oh, and by the way, you don't get Banshees on this map, so there goes that one useful vehicle that could have helped. Well, I mean, you can use other vehicles to stop a player from using this exploit, plus you can snipe them as well, so they're not that invincible, but the Overshield, the constantly spawning sniper, and the rocks don't exactly make it easy to do so. Oh, and don't forget about Halo 1's spawn logic, so you might just respawn in that exploit area after you were just killed by a person using it. So yeah, despite that exploit, it is a good solid map that takes the ideas of Blood Gulch and tries something different with it. A 4 out of 5 for me. <laughs> That's lucky! I literally shot the sniper away from you, and it landed right next to me! You fucking piece of shit! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh my! Oh, thank god! <laughs> Oh, that is just luck. That's just bad luck. I thought it was gonna go my way. <laughs> oh, come on, that's a big monster. Stop thinking that's a snake! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I backed up on a health kit, so it refilled my health instantly. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> come on. Okay, that's just being insulted. <laughs> Here comes the next map, Infinity. And I do appreciate how the map is modelled to be like the infinite symbol. I appreciate stuff like that. And as soon as you load into the map, you realise that you probably should have invited more friends to play this map. This map is big. Like, very big. Almost to a point where going on foot will probably take you a whole year just to get to the centre of the map. So, going in a vehicle is a necessity in order to get around the map. At least you get teleporters around the map. Now, I'm not going to rate this stage because me and my friend agree that this map is better when you have a big group of people playing on it. You see, unlike Dead Island, where yes, it was a big map, the island was small and confined, so it wouldn't take you long to get around the map. This map is just so big that it feels tiring just to find one person. So I think this map was really purposely designed for a big amount of players. So big apologies if this was your favourite map growing up, but I didn't have the time to really get a bunch of people to play this map. On to the next. Up next is a personal favourite of mine, Timberland. This map feels like a combination of both Blood Gulch and Sidewinder. Blood Gulch for its straight two bases on opposite sides, with the terrain being a lot bumpier, and Sidewinder's design on the bases. Kid you not, they are practically the same. So if you're as blind as a fly, this map takes place in the woodlands, full of big hills to help with combat, to take cover or use as an advantage. In the center of the map is an overshield, again similar to how Blood Gold is designed. You can also obtain camouflage power-ups in the waterfalls at the corner of the map, and you have your plethora of vehicles to use. Except for Banshee, sadly. Oh no, not the very slow pink needles. Uh, can you stop doing that? Oh, <laughs> now, as you can imagine, with the combination of both good solid maps, it's pretty obvious to say that this map is also a good solid map. The design of the map is simple, like Blood Gulch, but it has the fun options of traversal of Sidewinder. In fact, whenever I play Halo with friends, I nearly always pick this map first. Before I get into the obvious ranking of this stage, I want to show you something. I find it funny that we got so distracted that we just started talking about Halo 5. Regardless if we were getting blown up, shot, or burned to death, it was just so funny to think about. I, I kind of think um, the reason why Halo 5 was the way it was was because I... Um, um, the, uh, the cooperative the, uh, shooters the were, were quite popular, quite and I think they were getting a resurgence back in the time because, uh, over, well, like, when did, when did Overwatch come out? Do you remember when, do you when did Halo 5 come out? It came out October 2015. 
I suppose like a resurgence in games, or maybe just they were looking at examples. So people were really into, uh, you know, Left 4 Dead and Payday 2. Those are co-op based games where you have four members uh, to like be the mission whatnot. So they thought, hmm, why don't we do the exact same thing? Because I think um, many people didn't mind a Halo co-op. Because, I mean, uh, in mean, Left 4 Dead 2, you can literally mod the, the, the game to be a Halo, Halo game. game. So... I don't know. Also notice now of Halo 4, it was like criticised in some way when it came out, but now people are saying, you know what, this game is actually not bad. I, I like, don't know about that, but I think my opinion is still the same there. I, I enjoyed my time with Halo 4, but it's only the beginning missions, and then everything else in the middle, I can barely remember because I was that and bored by it. And then, okay. and then the end part I remember because that was actually fun. I think it was only more that those comments came from the people who decided to revisit Halo 4 on the PC, they just sort of wanted to see it again. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Also, I suppose it's a bit of a controversial opinion. Um, I, uh, I I rather prefer, I rather prefer like Halo 2 or, like 3, Halo 2 or 3, and I don't and I really don't get really why get people like, um, say um, Halo 4 is the best Halo, Halo game of the best franchise. Best You're like, bitch, franchise. have you played Halo, Halo 2 or 3? Halo 2 or 3. But, yeah, but exactly. but I, I think I can understand why they might <laughs> like it, because of the fast-paced movement and whatnot. It feels more, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, whatnot. Um, whatnot. But whatnot. this map is a definite 5 out of 5 for me. Also, here's me getting stuck! Oh, they did it. That's why they did it. And also, I suppose they were more focused on, like, the whole, like, eSport of Halo, rather than the actual story. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? I can't move. I can't move. What the? I cannot move. What's going wrong? I don't know. I think I'm stuck. Okay. Like, if you see me, don't kill me, but, like, I can't get out. Like, I'm, I, stuck I, I'm stuck on a hill! Okay, Like, in a place you would not <laughs> suspect. You need me to help you out, or...? Uh, well, yeah, I need oh, you to kill yeah, me, but don't kill, kill me. me. don't kill me. Like, you need to see, I like, to my, see situation. Like my situation. <laughs> ah. Are you outside? Yes, like, yes, look! I can't look, move! I can't behind move. you, behind you. Oh, you can see. Yeah. Oh! See, I can't move! <laughs> That? I'm looking at your spotting finger and it looks like you're falling. You're I don't. <laughs> help me! Help me! I think the only way out is. Can, can you grenade yourself? I can. But since you're here. <laughs> you should have killed me. Really kill Ice fields. To be honest, it's hard to say what I really think about this map. It's not a bad map, it's a good map, if anything. It has the standard two bases on each side, both have a selection of vehicles except for the Banshee. Seriously, what does Bungie have against Banshees? The only thing to note is that the, in the center of the map is a bridge that you can get to either side by a vehicle or using teleporters. And on this bridge, you get the overshield and the rocket launcher. You also get access to sniper rifles on the side entrances of the bridge. And that's it, really. I can't really say much because after going through 18 maps, it's hard to find anything that makes this map stand out. But again, it's not a bad map. It's a good map to play, but there's nothing really here I can talk about except the bridge. A 3 out of 5. Oh, I guess uh, so. I, I, I knew as soon as I missed that shot, I was a <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> what? what the? What? He died. <laughs> How? I did not expect that. Oh, I, you know, I, I didn't hear like a, a gunshot or a whack or anything, I just suddenly had a cardiac arrest. <laughs> oh my god, I really have been through 19 multiplayer maps, haven't I? Drivophobia, the last map we are taking a look at, with probably the most interesting name, considering that the definition of gyrophobia is the fear of driving over bridges. And this map somewhat conveys that? You have a long bridge surrounded by darkness with a big empty hole underneath, so watch your step. Same with the previous maps, you have your red base and blue base, but they have teleporters that teleport you to the sides of the map. A perfect position for sniping people across the other side, or on the bridge. Oh god, now I see why Bungie named this map Gyrophobia. And don't forget your vehicles, like warthogs, ghosts, banshees, finally, 
and strangely enough no tanks. Weird how though most maps that have vehicles we always got tanks with banshees sometimes tanging along but this time we have banshees but no tanks. Which kind of sucks because you have no good counter to the banshee. Well, I say that, but you do have warthogs that can shoot down the banshee or just head under the bridge or in the building for cover, so there are ways to avoid the banshee. There are two different levels of the bridge. The top part is where you would want to be most of the time, since that has all the good weapon drops, power-ups, and most of the vehicles. I think the lower part is mostly used as cover, and you do get ghosts to safely drive across the bridge. I like how all the noises it cancels out, I can hear your fingers touching the controller. <laughs> Now, you can fly up to the top of the bridge, but I wouldn't recommend doing that, because while it does give you a good sniping spot, but by the time you reach it, you'll probably be sniped before even taking aim. With all that being said, I do like this map. It's a fun sniping and vehicle experience that, again, I always make sure that me and my friends play this map. A good old 4 out of 5. Plus, I managed to win my last match. <laughs> Yes! Wait, hang on, just give me a sec. Better. So if it's not obvious enough, Halo 1's multiplayer was amazing. You had amazing and iconic maps to play through and you could endlessly teabag your friends. In fact, Halo invented the very art of teabagging. You couldn't think of Halo without teabagging. And that's pretty much it. I think I've covered everything for Halo 1. So. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, oh god damn it! Now as you can imagine, Halo 1 was a massive universal success for changing not only the way we play first person shooters, but for also helping the sales of the original Xbox. It's no surprise the Xbox version of Halo won more than 40 awards. The game's immense popularity led to labels such as Halo Clone or Halo Killer for games who tried to be like Halo. And of course, Halo spawned many sequels, books, films, a TV show, <laughs> so it was only a matter of time until a remake was going to come out. In the ancient year of 2011, Microsoft revealed that 343 Industries, the current studio that make the Halo games, would be releasing an anniversary remake of Halo Combat Evolved, and that the release date would be on the 10th anniversary of the original game's release, 15th of November. In the remake, 343 would add stuff from the previous games, such as skulls, terminals, achievements, and improved graphics. However, the multiplayer was going to use the Halo Reach gameplay engine, so even though we wouldn't exactly get the same Halo 1 multiplayer, we could still play on the classic multiplayer maps that were originally on the Xbox release. And so the game was released, and it received generally positive reviews, such as scores like 8 or 9 out of 10. Luckily, the Master Chief Collection includes the Classic and the Anniversary Edition. And don't worry, I'm not going to go through like every single mission again, because otherwise we would be here for another 10 years. So, why don't we just have a quick little look, shall we? Oh, oh, look at that, look at that! Everything just looks so good and highly detailed! Even the music is remastered! So, to be honest, I do prefer the classic. And oh my god, the weapon sounds so good! Glass door is closing. The Covenant are destroying the- Okay, now I know what you're really thinking. What does my favourite level look like? Just as great as I remember. Everything just looks so well polished.
I'm glad that 343 really went out there to make the original Halo fresh again. Though the design of the Golden Elite is not a favourite of mine, again I prefer the classic design. I know what you're really thinking. What does the flood look like? Answer, pretty bloody terrifying, and oh my god, they are beautifully ugly. Shame it still doesn't save the design of this level. Now you can play one of the worst maps on Halo, but we mastered it! Halo Combat Evolved always holds a special place in my heart, due to it being the first game I ever played on the Xbox, and without it I wouldn't have gotten into FPS games. Plus, I was introduced to the world of Xbox where I grew up playing all kinds of different games. It's sort of weird, Halo introduced me to FPS as well as the console itself, and the many other great games that I got to play on the original Xbox. I have so many fond memories of playing this game, playing all the different multiplayer maps, playing co-op. Yes, I know there is a co-op mode where you get to play the campaign together, but I don't have the time to do that, so SHUT UP! Doing all of this at sleepovers, or just playing it casually, all of it. Really, without Halo, I wouldn't really be here talking about video games and my passion for them. It's always good to look back on video games, and specifically a game that pretty much changed your life, and showed you why you fell in love with video games in the first place. And that's all I've got to say, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to thank you all again for helping me reach over 100 subscribers. It's really utterly amazing to me. Again, I just want to express my very, very sincere gratitude helping me reach over 100 subs. It's not a big number by any means, but I'm just really, really happy that by over 100 of you people really enjoy my content and subscribing to the channel and whatnot. It really makes me feel like I've done something really good. Thank you all very, very much. And I hope this video about one of my favourite games of all time has uh, satisfied you all. So, if you've enjoyed this video, why don't you like, comment, favourite and subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, and if you, th if you ask me about what I thought about the Halo TV series on Paramount Plus, well, I think it's shit.